joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Jeremy Angry Anderson. I took a fight against him. He beat me second round. Last year, October 10th, we fought again. John Hater Ruth Kennedy. I beat him in the triangle first round. Kennedy and I never had a problem with him until after our last fight. We won that fight. I kind of kind of gave it to him a little bit. Uh, kind of sat in his guard too much and let him basically let him put me in a triangle and end the fight. He gave me that triangle last fight. I feel like I took the triangle. I set him up for it. Whooped his ass the whole first round. I'll tell you what, your jab, jab, leg kick isn't gonna work come December 5th. You know, we were supposed to fight again here a few months back and I had some uh, heart issues and medical issues I had to get taken care of and you started running your mouth then. Like, I feel like he was scared. Uh, he wasn't prepared himself, saw how focused I was, and yeah, just doesn't have the heart. But I'm getting tired of all the talk. I'm getting tired of him on Facebook running his mouth not stop. Do we not remember what happened the first time we fought, John? First time we fought, I left the cage and you screaming like a girl because I dislocated your shoulder in a minute and a half in the first round. I remember that. Do you remember that? Do you remember me running my mouth after that fight? I don't remember that. You've had since last October to prepare yourself. Let's do it. I'm more athletic. I'm a better striker. I got more pop behind my punch. What are you going to do, John? What are you going to do when you have to stand and bang with me for three rounds? God, I hope you're ready, dude. As far as you beat me for three rounds, you've got to have the cardio to make it there. It's not gonna happen, bro. This is this is a whole different game, dude. Like, you opened up a whole can of worms that I, I wasn't even going to open, but I, I got a personal issue with you. You run your mouth, this is like, this is like the World Series for you. It's sad that I'm the biggest accomplishment you've ever made in life.